People are not happy with what's going on with The Witcher right now. Look at this petition. So this petition has been out for a little while, and it started when Henry Cavill left The Witcher. Why did he leave The Witcher? Well, I think a lot of that had to do with Superman, but it also had to do with the fact that he didn't care about staying with the show either. He had a falling out with the writers. Why? Because they don't follow the source material. In fact, we know for a fact that they actually mock the source material because the head writer at Disney's X-Men 97 revival came out and said so. He made it a requirement to work at the show. You have to have been a fan of the X-Men animated series, which is a fantastic show, by the way. I actually have started rewatching it again after I watched Spider-Man uh, the animated series. There's about five seasons of that. That held up pretty good. There's a lot more censorship in that show, but it still held up pretty good. Now, the X-Men show uh, is, in a lot of ways, a lot better. But they're still great shows. Will this be a good show? I don't know. But I this actually turned me around on it a little bit when he said you had to have been a fan. And he talked about how when he was on The Witcher... Some of the writers were not fans and actively disliked the books and the games, even mocking the source material. That's not the kind of people that should be working on a loved franchise. So a lot of stuff has come out on, on the Witcher crew, and there's a lot of backlash. This petition, for one, I mean, it's almost at 300,000 signatures. That's embarrassing. This means that there's big resentment in the fan base. And I think that losing Henry Cavill the way they did is not going to help them. So there's a new show coming out called The Witcher Blood Origin, and you could see the backlash there. 93,000 dislikes to 23,000 likes. Don't forget there was another trailer not that long ago that also got ratioed into the ground. This is a bad sign. Like, why are you doing a prequel? You don't even get the original stuff right. And they got to do what they want because this is a, uh, this is a more original show. So now they could actually go ahead and make the, the original Witcher a woman. They wish they could get rid of Geralt, but they can't. They have to have him around at the bait and switch <laughs> so they can do their other stuff. So this is, this is disastrous for Netflix. It's, it's bad. It's so bad that the showrunner is actually now begging, begging people to still watch the show. The Witcher showrunner fully understands fan concerns over Henry Cavill's departure. We could take a look at some of this right here. Uh, this is the interesting part to me. It's right around here. First part, Hirsch says she completely understands the fan anger leveled at her and the rest of the show's creators. However, she also called on The Witcher's fan base to continue supporting its cast and crew, adding that failure to do so would be a detriment of upcoming spinoff, Blood Origin, and future seasons of The Witcher's main series. So basically, please keep watching the show. Please keep watching the show. Because, well, if you don't, it might fail, and we might not be able to keep making more <laughs> more of the main, more seasons of the main series. Well, maybe you should have thought of that before you made a shitty show. I actually only watched a little bit of the first season. I jumped off of the show. I thought it was boring. Not enough Geralt. Too much focus on these other characters that I didn't care about. You could tell. Now, I haven't read the books, but I have played... The second and third games, they're amazing. Some of the best games ever made. And you could tell from that they weren't fans of that, at least. And then, you know, you hear from people that like the books. And those people back up exactly what the people that play the games say, <laughs> that they don't seem to care for the books either. They, they don't seem to care for the books either, which is, you know, funny. And then, you know, this was the biggest bombshell, the, the X-Men 97 writer sharing that uh, they were mocking 
the source material, mocking the source material. Are these the people that should be writing the show? People that mock it? You wonder why it turns out so terrible. I mean, it's so bad that this guy left, this DeMaio guy left, and makes it a requirement that you have to have been a fan of the show, which wouldn't, shouldn't be hard because that show was extremely popular. So it's just, I mean, it's telling. And then Henry Cavill leaves. I mean, what a shit show this is. So now you have this run, showrunner basically begging people, saying it's a big deal for us too. And they mentioned, she mentioned how fans had negatively responded to Cavill's impending departure, and that's the thing. There's a lot of talk and rumors about, and we fully understand why fans are going there. What I will say is please come back for The Witcher Season 3 so that we can continue to do this. Obviously, that Cavill's departure is huge news, but what I don't want to do, this has to stay about Blood Dragon. Blood Dragon showrunner, the cast, and the crew. This is their time in the spotlight. I don't think they're going to show up, but it's funny. Please come back so we can continue to work. <laughs> please come back so we can still have a job, please. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. You know, this all could have been avoided if they had just <laughs> made the show fans would have wanted. None of this would have happened, but Cavill's leaving. You've lost Cavill, who was a, a huge draw for the show. A lot of people like to call him the bait and switch because a lot of people showed up for Cavill and didn't get him. And... You know, that really bit them. It bit Cavill. Then you find out that the writers don't give a shit, that they mock the fans, they mock the source material, they mock the games, they, they mock the books. And now they're shocked that people are upset and walking away. Of course people were going to walk away. Nobody wanted your... like. This is actually, you know, this is really a great example of subverting expectations for the message. You know, people were coming in expecting a Witcher show. They didn't get that. Instead, they got a show about strong women. And the show became about the message, not the material. And what happened? There's a falling out. Henry Cavill leaves. He doesn't have to put up with this shit. Henry Cavill's a, a star. Go back and play Superman now. His dream role, which he is likely going to get. Black Adam, there's a lot of misconceptions about its supposed failure. And it did. It didn't do that well in the theaters, but it's it's getting made up for on home video. The streaming rentals are up, and DVD pre-sales, I think, are pretty good. So I would expect Henry Cavill Superman to have a pretty big role in the future of the DCEU. So he doesn't need this job. So he said, F it, and threw his hands up and walked away, and I don't think anyone blames him. In fact, everyone blames the showrunners. This petition... If it keeps going like it is, is hilarious. So I really wonder, what is Blood Origins numbers, what are they going to look like, streaming-wise? I mean, you see it right here. People aren't happy. Who's going to tune in for this show? Who's going to tune in for it? So we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Check out my Rumble and my Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.